Brand loyalty plays a blank role in many consumers' buying habits. Market research shows that consumers are likely to spend more on a product they grew up using than they are to try a generic brand that offers the same blanks at a lower price. The question is, just how much more are shoppers willing to spend for blank? So a few things to notice. First off, we start here with brand loyalty, and then we go on to consumers are likely to spend more on a product they grew up with or they grew up using and that talks about brand loyalty so in the very first blank we can say okay so brand loyalty plays an important so now we can go down here to blank number one and which word means important so speculative. Speculative means we're not really sure. There's some guessing going on here. And it that is not what important means. We want something that shows that brand loyalty plays a major role or at least a noticeable role in consumers' buying habits. Next, we have quotidian. And quotidian means day-to-day, -day, mundane, the same thing from... Monday to Tuesday, and that has nothing to do, of course, with what we're going for. And then there's appreciable. You may think of appreciate, but a little bit different because appreciable means a sizable and plays an important or sizable role, works perfectly here. Next, we want to go down to the second blank. So it says that people are more likely to spend on products they grew up using than they are to try a generic brand. So when you have something that is generic, a generic brand, it is really no different in terms of the ingredients or what makes that product the product. So for instance, a generic aspirin would have many of the same ingredients as a brand label like Tylenol. So we know here that people are to try a generic brand that offers really the same what? And we can put ingredients the same parts. There's really not much different here with when you take a generic brand. It just doesn't have that name that you know people grew up using. Finally, we look at the third blank. The question is just how much more are shoppers willing to spend for? And what is it that they're spending for? Some sort of recognition, something that reminds them perhaps of what they grew up using. And that word is nostalgia. When you think back upon, oh, that reminds me of the past. So we can now go to We'll start here with blank two. We're looking for a word that means ingredients, or, and we have constituents. So constituents are the parts that make something up, and that sounds pretty good, so we're going to circle that. Accolades means praises. Praises as in, wow, you did a good job, or applauding you, that sort of praise. And that, of course, doesn't mean ingredients. And then finally in blank two, we have idiosyncrasies, which are peculiarities. And peculiarities. Well, maybe the brand is pecu has some peculiarities in it, maybe not, but that's not what we're going for. We're just trying to say that a generic brand offers the exact same ingredients or parts, whether or not they're peculiar is not the point, so we get rid of that. And finally, with blank three, we again found the word nostalgia based, up on, based on the product they grew up using, so they identify with it. There's something that reminds them of childhood, and nostalgia, again, is a memory of the past, usually a fond one. And paranoia goes away against that uh, idea of memory of the past. And then finally, quality. Well, this one's tricky because if you happen to plug it in without thinking about it, the question is just how much more shoppers willing to spend for quality makes sense. That's a sort of word that would go in the blank, but that's if you disregard everything that comes before here. So remember, oftentimes the clue is in another part, the beginning part of the sentence, and not necessarily in the last sentence here, starting with the. So quality isn't what we're going for here, but an idea of recognition on the part of the consumer that, oh, this is the good old product I've been using for years. So we can get rid of quality, and our answers are appreciable, constituents, and nostalgia.